lot of it's through education, making sure uh, that you've got top-notch learning, learning institutions, uh, drawing in, building the success. Part of it is uh, building the ecosystems for it. We're just visiting the Atlantic, uh, Atlantic Cancer Research Institute uh, over a month and, and uh, seeing the kinds of jobs, kind of innovative research going on there in an extraordinary hub. It's the, the, the biggest gene sequencing hub uh, east of Montreal, take that Halifax, um, you know, and it's, it's a real pride here. When you draw in hubs like that where exciting world-class things are happening as they can and should happen everywhere, um, there is a real potential to grow and develop stronger communities. Uh, so it's coming. It is something we're working on actively. The way we continue to draw in uh, people from around the world to build our communities across the country and not just concentrate them in the large urban areas uh, is a key part of Canada's success. That's where so many of our policies in this uh, last budget and even leading up to it are focused on uh, making sure we're investing in the right ways in empowering smaller communities and even rural areas uh, to make sure the Canadian success goes from coast to coast to coast. One of the big things that we've been talking a lot about in this budget, in the budget that just came out earlier this week, big focus on affordability uh, to make sure that people who are going through tough times right now uh, get that support, including with a big grocery rebate. Big focus on health, uh, dental care, and uh, health care investments that are going to make a huge difference in people's lives. But the third pillar of this